and breakfast. And we're actually listening to Radio 1 because um, Nick Grimshaw, who's our fave, is interviewing Tanya Burr. What's that funny thing? Jack is having porridge this morning. Put a little bit too much cinnamon in, um, and also it's got very hot, so we're just going to And this afternoon we're heading out into town to meet a friend and her baby, and we're going to an exhibition. I don't really know much about it, but it was her idea and it sounded good. So, yeah, we're heading up there in a bit. just so baby friendly actually because they're all smushy and he really loves them and they're sweet. singing he's being super cute he kind of sings and kicks his legs when he's happy the jury's out as to whether he's actually going to have a good voice because sam has a really nice singing voice and i have the worst voice we didn't go into town to see the exhibition in the end because my friend's little one was a bit ill so um, she wanted to kind of stay in and hibernate with her now we've just come on a spontaneous walk it's a beautiful day it's a golf course all around me so that's all kind of private property. But then there's this walk, oh buggy running away. There's a walk which we're on now called a lover's walk. Um, which yeah takes you through the golf course and ends up um, at some shops and we're hoping to find a coffee shop where there is apparently a really cute little play area. Um, so yeah, should be nice and it's just a oh, lush lush day. What's happening in here? Is it Jack's little den? You got it all to yourself. Look, it's so cool. Basically, this place is um, a shop that sells tiles, but then it has this baby area at the back. We're just walking home after a nice play in this little cafe play area. I had a hot chocolate and a carrot cake. The amount of coffee and cake I have consumed this year is redonkulous. This is all Jack and really do at that time. Tonight, I am going out with my school besties. I've got two very sleepy boys next door. putting nursery rhymes on in the morning instead of the TV. I think it's nice for him with the music and I just really don't like the idea of him looking at screens loads. Let your ball go. Nursery rhymes in jail. Lucky boy. Okay, we've switched off nursery rhymes and we've put MJ on, which is good. But we found the activity table, which is possibly the most annoying toy in the world. Um, it just makes these awful, really annoying noises for ages. Jack obviously loves it, but it's just all a bit hectic in here for a Wednesday morning. It's like impossible to keep all the food on that. So 
Yeah, I think they're going to go away because they're kind of pointless. That's better, isn't it, Jack? <laughs> He's basically, I actually think this is a toddler's thing, but it does the job because it covers you completely. It's a full-on body bib. That's what we like. There is so much mess after every meal. I already know how, but there just is like all of this toys and cereal and bowl and beaker and spoon and milk and oh, another course, peanut butter and bread and knives and all oh, just so much mess. I swear that's why going out for meals with Jack is actually really, really nice just to sit in someone else's space, use someone else's high chair and not have to clear up after yourself. Sounds really bad, I know. I've just sterilized my nose, which involves dunking my piercing into a mug of hot water and salt. That's why I'm kind of wet face right now. But I just wanted to say, because it struck me, um, all the plastic toys that Jack has, I really, really don't like. Um, we were lucky enough, lucky, to get them as a present from someone. Um, and he does, he does really like them. And babies do, I think it was Hannah Max that said it in her vlog, babies do have awful taste in toys. They love all the plastic, garish, horrible stuff. But I just really don't like them and I cannot wait to get them out of our kitchen. <laughs> because we're off out today, we've got a meeting and I've got a dentist appointment. <laughs> I've turned my back and literally this happened. <laughs> now we're just running really late so I'm literally eating my breakfast at the bus stop. The bus is coming now, so we're gonna get on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On the bus, it's a bit more civilised. Um, bus came really quickly. We have made a bit of time, so we're just in Starbucks getting our first coffee of the day. We've just finished our meeting, so we're just chilling here before we do the big tidy up. We've just popped into my favourite craft shop. It's absolutely beautiful, jam-packed with things I just love. I have trouble not buying the whole shop. The Russian dolls. You can buy the doll and you can paint it. And there's little bears. It's just the sweeter shop and I want everything in it. <laughs> Resist anything brown, crafty. Wow, so that was a new experience going to the dentist with a baby on my lap. Luckily, the dentist and the hygienist, they were so nice. They let him basically yeah, sit on me, which I never thought they'd do, but he was just not happy in the buggy. Small things just become so 
I don't want to use the word difficult, but just, yeah, I guess difficult when you've got a baby. I literally cannot believe how fast Jack is developing. I turn around and he's just doing more and more kind of bold, grown-up things slash scary things. We need to get your own little drawer with your own little safe toys, not mummy's pans, please. It's 7.15 and Jack is asleep, which is weird because he never goes to sleep this early. Normally more like 8.15, but he was exhausted. Plus, do this thing now with him, which I think is quite good. Before bedtime, he climbs all the stairs, so it gets him really tired out. And bless him, by the end, he's like literally just like he can't, he can't climb anymore. He's absolutely friggin' knackered. And then it's bedtime. Um, he'll probably wake up in like an hour, but anyway, he's down now. Sam is out this evening, which means I don't have to make like a dinner or anything because I normally do do that. Um, and it means I can do some things that I have been meaning to do, like paint my nails, continue sorting out my photos, and just generally have a bit of me time, which is nice. <laughs> chair this really cute chair from tiger i couldn't resist it's like seven pounds i think and jack's now old enough to sit on it so here he is this morning just sitting on it before we get him dressed he's wearing one of my fave disposable nappies i usually use g nappies but i also use top spots um which is what this one is and the design is just so cute See, this is actually why G-nappies are so good because with so many other non-disposables, um, they leak. And you can see here, Jack has leaked. That's why I prefer G-nappies. <laughs> out the house it is always really hard to get out the house especially in winter kind of wait till it's summer and you can just go out us in just t-shirt whatever but also the baby it's just like the hat the coat the gloves jack now has little gloves um it just takes so long and obviously he really doesn't like being dressed um yeah I really don't know how people do it with twins. We're gonna to walk to the post office, so not very exciting, but I just didn't fancy going to town and all of that. I don't know why, I think it's because it is really cold and I don't know, it just doesn't make you wanna kind of venture to new places. We're keeping it local and going for a nice little walk. It's so cold, I'm wearing my ridiculous Russian hat that I only bust out when it's properly cold because it's just so warm and that with my bear coat. I just look like a big bundle of fur but then Jack kind of looks the same because he's got his bear hat and his fleecy bear jacket so between the two of us we're a bunch of bears. <laughs> Packages, which means it's time for one thing and one thing only cafe. And one's away. Should we come out, Jack? Jack, and have some lunch? Come on. scary basically behind me is this path that I looked up from the road and it looked really pretty and I'm kind of like quite fearless when it comes to walking and I love exploring but anyway I went up it and I just started getting a bit scared it was there was no one there and I just started thinking it's just me and Jack then I got freaked out because there was this lorry that pulled up as we were going into it and I was like convinced that they that this guy was like following us. Anyway, it was really scary, so we just turned around and now we've come back onto the main road. Did not like that at all. It's just like being somewhere quite deserted, just me and Jack, is 
a bit scary. Oh, that's better. Back where there's people and cars. She's probably out just back then. We didn't just turn back. I sprinted back, pushing Jack. Like, we ran so fast. I suddenly just got it in my head that it wasn't safe and that, like, there's probably someone following us. And, yeah, we elected it out of there. Jackie! Where's Jackie? Where's Jackie? Hey guys, so we're back home and something quite good actually happened. I gave Jack dinner on the bus because he was getting a little bit uh, and I had leftover from lunch. So, hey guys. Hey guys, so we're back home and something quite good happened actually. I gave him dinner on the bus because I had some left over from lunch basically and it was brilliant. He ate loads because he was really distracted by everyone and he just seemed to like it and best of all, giving him dinner on the bus, basically giving him dinner anywhere but here means I don't have to do any clearing up which is amazing um, and yeah, just makes me really happy these days. So we are back and Jack is just playing and I am making some chilli con carne for dinner. I've got started, I've got all the veggies going. That's the end of this week's vlog guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you for getting to the end. So Jack's asleep, Sam Sansa is making dinner which is amazing, so I'm gonna go now. I'll see you next week though, cheers, bye! Bye 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 bye!